friends, what's going on? It's myself, yeah. Tangoosis, along with Sir Waffles McDonkey, or just Jake. Yeah, just call me Jake, you know. So, um, we're here starting our new series of a nice little game of Two Worlds 2. Mm -hmm. And the first episode, we thought, let's start off in my village and show you guys around. Isn't that right, Mr. Sir Waffles McDonkey? Or just mm -hmm, my village is better, just saying. Yeah, because you've been, like, on a snogger. So, um, where shall we start? Um, should we, should we just take a tour around the village, I guess? Yes, good point. Have you a mission to do or something? No, no, I've already, like, done that earlier. Right. Anyway, as you can see, we're in a nice little village that I built. So, I'm gonna show you guys over here. As you can see, well, this, let's just say this first episode will be a special for showing off my village before starting actually. Bye. Before starting any actual missions, let's say. So, this here is your house. You keep all your cool stuff in it. Um, I mainly keep money in there because I'm poor. As oh, I'm you're like richer than everybody, everybody in this game, yeah. Anyway, some of the, in the village there's like all this stuff from Bowdens, there's farms, barns, not barns, but farms and stuff, and shops. What basic, of what basic, you guys now. Well, I'm just going to quickly explain the system to you. So when you start the game, you have to do a quick, like when you join, you have to go online and stuff. But let's say you want to build a village. First of all, you need 10,000 ores, and then once you do that, you'll go for a quick tutorial just teaching you how to build stuff. Like, you just have to go up to, like, these, um, things outside each of these places and click space on them and then build wherever, wherever you can. Building ranches and farms, they give you, basically, food, which means then you'll need a windmill, which means it can produce more. Then if you build a shop, then you get to produce more money. And so on and so on. Max sent me a message, I'll grow. That's pretty much about it. Just before you ask, RS is the game's currency. You can say that it's like gold coins, so to speak. And in the shops, I think we should quickly mention this, that you can actually buy products that are made inside your village. And you yeah, only over products. here, there's nothing at the moment. I actually come over here, I'll show you the one that always works. Yep. Like, sometimes it's glitched, I think, I'm not sure. Um, I think... Like, if you don't have enough forges or stuff like that, which is where you can produce, like, the, um, weapons, like, for melee class and stuff. As you can see, Mr. Jake here is a warrior, a two-handed one, while myself uh, here is an archer. Mm hmm Oh, they're selling archer stuff in your shop down here. Alright, let's take a look, like, for an example. So, as you can see, the nice little merchant here, he is selling quivers and stuff for... Oh, the reinforced bow, have a moment, it costs 3,523 auras. Auras uh, can be received from selling loot to get for missions and by completing missions. Right, I'm gonna put this Essence of Fire in there right now, and I think you probably see on Tango's screen that I've entered two Essences of Fire, one Essence of Air. I don't even know what this does, but I'm just putting it in there anyway. Whenever you're, like, in villages, people that sell stuff at the shop, as you can see what Jake's doing, you can then buy it to go to your inventory. So, for an example, I'm gonna buy one of these essences of fire. So, yes, purchase that. That's XC219. So, that's how the village kind of works. Every day or so, monsters will like invade your village, and then you gotta like go and hunt them down and stuff. You can get more loot. As you can see on the top right. Oh, wait, I forgot to turn off the hood. But anyway, I'm on the. Oh, that's just activated my map. Alright, I'll start. Sure. Activate your map. Oh yeah, and F8, you can transfer currency and stuff between your hero and your villagers. And I thought, here. just let you know before you get this, this isn't what you were spawning. Like, you won't automatically get all these buildings that you can see here. You have to actually spend your auras, which you get off for missions. In the first mission, you get like a thousand auras. But we're going to do a walkthrough in a way of how to do the missions. Like, even because we're quite a high level, me and Tango here, we should be able to do all the missions all the way to the last one. It may take a while, but we can still do it. Yeah, this is going to be a very uh, spaced out series because it's going to be... Like, we have to get a team for Mar for the final mission, which is called the Marshlands, unless we decide... Do DLC as well? Well, I feel it should be up to your viewers if they're enjoying your series, I guess. Yeah, if you guys, after we do the Marshland, if you guys, like, enjoy the series so far, we would gladly like to do the DLC missions. And we can also show you the other game mode, that's Crystal Capture, which we ourselves have not even played yet. Nope. Uh, defense, um, Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, you know, there's quite a few game modes. Oh, you, but also in the villages you can go inside the houses, did you know that? Uh, yes. Shall you we go on one like to demonstrate? 
Um, we can go to the guard houses. It should work. Yep. Never actually experienced this myself, so uh, I'm still You can't go up the stairs, sadly, which I think. Oh, there you are. In two worlds three, I hope they do implement the thing that you can actually go to the top of your guardhouse and view your land or something. That'd be quite cool. It's actually, a nice place they have inside here. You should. So, this is, I think, is the default one you get inside the house anyway. So, you can go inside. You can go inside quite a lot of the houses. A few of them you can't get into, but you have to keep. I'm not sure. But I think most of them can. Right. This here's like. I've got to pop up the map of what you guys can see so far. So, as you can see on the map, the little blue dot, like the blue pin, that represents player character. The white arrow represents yourself, and the yellow looking mushroom thing represents teleporters. Did uh, you just place down the blue marker? Uh, no. You're like, I said blue pin, not blue marker. Well, it's like a blue flag anyway. Yes. Yeah, those are automatic waypoints that you, like, they're just flags you can go to. If you're going to a certain point, they need to place, um, a uh, item, or uh, I mean a house, or a forge, or something like that, then you'll know where you need to go, so you won't go off track. Because I must admit, if you're not used to how the village is laid out, because it's laid out for everybody, so if we went to my village quickly, and it would be the exact same layout, except from where like all the buildings are, because that's up to you, but like where where the buildings can be placed are in the same place, aren't they? That did know, whenever you start up the online campaign, you're free to create a new guy, like a character guy. As I said earlier, I'm an archer and Jake's a warrior. You can see uh, different types of mages like fire, wind, earth, and even a necromancer. And there's lots of different warrior classes. I chose two-handed weapons. I should have really chose pole arms because you see I'm using the most powerful weapon in the game, which is a pole arm. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, you better show your viewers how to check how much damage your weapon does, a, like with your strength or accuracy or okay, willpower. Fine. If you Spend. hit F1, you'll see this nice little menu which shows your level, the experience points you got, and how much you gotta get before leveling up, your mana, and your hit points. As you guys can see here, these are your skills. For example, this is multi arrow or range of precision. I got one skill point left, so I'm gonna invest that in range of precision, so let's just put that on. Next level is cyanide so and increased 40% damage whenever I'm in sniper mode. I just spent some of mine there just on like a sneak, so when I right click, I go down to sneak, I walk like much so. faster than you normally would. Yes, sir. So, so it's, if you guys like are watching this, you should really get two worlds too. Um, it's you available can... on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation 3. It may be I... a kind of an old game, but it's still a fun one at that. Um, I'm not sure if I will comment on this video, but if I will, I'll give you a link to. Um, a website where you can actually buy it off but like or you can get me or tango like put in the comments can you get it for us but like we didn't have to buy and we just get we have loads of keys left over from like a humble bundle from a while ago well i do anyway yes is that pretty much everything you'd like to say about the villages pretty like damn much right I, so I th but i think we should go show them the elements of the mines that you can build um i'll just explain it basically if you're gonna like um, sell weapons and stuff, you're gonna need a mine. The mines, like, they produce the iron and all the different ores you need to make weapons. You I... need to actually take part in building the weapons, the shop does that for you, you just need to buy the stuff. And that's what's giving you a warning about the village mode is that you actually have to explore the map before you unlock the teleporters. So if you got like some trouble in the village, like originally you're gonna have to go all the way out to where the marker says. So I think the first one's like up in the mountains, so you actually go quite a long way. One of them's also in the cave where you got cow spiders. Yeah. The questions are kind of random and well they are fun to do. My main advice before you buy a village is be at least level thirty. And I must admit getting to level thirty takes how long time go about to about 20 hours, I reckon. Probably if you play... level up on us, it's not Unless... as easy as most games. Well, it's quite easy because I've played it for what is it? Just about over 70 hours now, and I'm level 69, so. Pretty you much know. this, like Counter Strike and all the other games, you're gonna need a good team if you wanna do well. Well, the missions are solo level, but that's only like a good high level. <laughs> you can solo the entire game, but you'd need a sick loadout. And you, I would strongly advise making sure you add someone or you can, like, 
asking people on server one. And it's always important that you learn German before playing this game. The majority of the people who play this are indeed German. We're nice but, guys now, they helped us side whenever we yeah, no And just a, this is a disclaimer, they can actually speak English, so don't like try to speak them in German, otherwise they'll start talking complicated German to you and you'll get really confused. So just speak English and hopefully you'll find some English guys who'll be able to help you. If you want, we could probably help you through as well. Because I'm guessing Tango's fan base is pretty much just with friends, so. Yeah. Kind of. But anyway, that's pretty much about it for the first episode, just showing off a little guide and stuff of my village and how to do it. So, is there anything else you'd like to say, Mr. Gear? Um, next episode we'll be doing the first mission. Um, do not be concerned how quickly we do this and how quickly we damage them. Results may vary. When you first play this game, you will be basically demolished. So what we're gonna- Well, I'm not sure if Tango's gonna do this or not, but if Tango goes back to like a level 1, um, we're just gonna speed run it. Or we can just speed run it. It's up to the, you guys, I guess. Like, if you want Tango to go back to level 1 and, like, make a new character, he can make a new Archer class if he wants. And he just basically shows you how hard it is to actually get through all the missions with, like, such a level, with a low level character, even though I'll be able there to back him up so he won't have too much trouble. That's a good point. You can keep your high level guy. Mm hmm. So that's pretty much about it for the first episode, and I hope you guys will continue to enjoy the spin-off series. I'll only and the rest will like, will probably continue soon enough, I guess. Oh, and just a little disclaimer, some of the videos may be quite long, as does some of the missions can, can vary in time. Like, the marshlands, I think, will pretty much rush through because um, it's the final mission and it's as long as you want you can play it, basically, and you just keep it. can be as short as five minutes and can take up to, like, a good eight hours. Well, that's if you're, like, mega sad and you have nothing to do. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, that's pretty much about it for showing off the villain. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we end? Um, enjoy the series. I I'm so, just yes. beautiful. Just ignore me. Yeah, I'm gonna like run for a bit. So if you guys liked, please leave a like. If you wanna see more, please um, leave a comment. And if you wanna stay up to date with what I do and all that, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.